Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name's Roberto for those that are new. For those that have been here from the start, I do humbly apologize for not being able to do more of these videos. Uh, life and sort of the business has gotten in the way of things. Uh, we've been here now, I think this is our second or third week, I can't remember. We've been setting up the new studio for the last two, three months, I think. Uh, and it just seems like every day more boxes come in and stuff that we've ordered and it needs to be set up and it's just been crazy. So I do apologize about the length of time. Uh, what we're gonna be doing in this episode is we're going to show you the last sort of little fiddly bits in setting up the bike. Um, more probably specific, the, uh, the rear sets. We had um, Alex come across from uh, road to race motorcycles. I think I've got that right. Um, and he's just gone through the bike. We've talked up everything just to make sure because my brain has been like mush and I'd hate to have forgotten or missed something. And it's good to have another pair of eyes over the bike. And he's also gonna help me set up the rear sets to suit my shape and build and feet position and stuff like that. So um, we'll go across there and um, yeah, we'll have a look and how it's sort of done. All right, catch you guys soon. You don't need to sort of be worried or scared or anything. Just don't hurt, yeah, that's don't right. hurt your back. Um, so um, basically, I'm going to introduce you. Mm -hmm. So um, your name's Alex, mm -hmm. right? It is Alex, isn't it? Okay, Alex. And you're moving into a new shop. Yeah. And it's called? The Road to Race Motorcycles. Cool. And whereabouts are you going to be? That's in Malaga. Malaga, okay. So what's a bit of your background, just so people can understand where you come from? So I've worked... Um, on uh, various race teams in Europe. So I uh, did various uh, event championships and uh, World Super Sport 300 championship. Okay. And, work and that was over in Italy, was that it? Was in it yeah. You, uh, the team was based in Italy and obviously it's a world championship, so you move around. Oh, so and you flew to all different yeah. parts of the world. Oh. Yeah. And uh, cool. European Superstock as well. So, yeah. Nice. Well, okay. So, so you've got a little bit of understanding on how to set up a race yeah, bike? Yeah, just a little just bit, a little bit say, yeah. which is good, yeah. okay. So the main reason I've got you here today is that you know that I've moved into the new shop, yeah. which you're going to experience this. So you'll understand where I'm coming from know, in a matter of months. Yeah. Um, and it's also pouring down the rain. Yeah. Um, my brain is fried. Now, I know the bike's fine, but I'd like to, and this is always a good thing, if you're stripping your bike down to bits, it's always sometimes good to get a second person like yourself, and I think there's no one better qualified than you, just to go over everything, make sure everything's talked to spec, because the last thing I want to do is ride down the street and find Something my front is, wheel rolls yeah. off. And, <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't be nice. Yeah. No, 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 it wouldn't. Um, and then we're also going to just set up the rear sets. I think they're right, but we'll just get you to yeah. glance your eye over when I'm sitting on the bike, um, just so we know everything's 100%, because from this point, there's no reason why we can't do the paint protection and glass coat it and then start riding it yep. when it's not pouring down the rain. Yeah. All right, well, um, yeah, let's go do that now. Cool, yeah. thank you. So Alex has um, set up everything, talked everything up, so it's all good. Um, you're happy with it, Alex? Yes. Perfect. Um, sorry for the rain. It's raining here again in Perth. Like, I don't know what's going on. Um, what we're going to do now is just set up the rear sets to suit my feet. Um, one big tip that I do, and Alex agreed with me, Absolutely. is I put my race boots on because that's what I'm going to be... Oh, I can't even walk. That's what I'm going to be using on the bike, not sneakers. So there's no point in me setting it up for sneakers and then getting it out with my boots. And yeah, so we're going to um, jump on. Alex is going to do a few measurements and stuff like that. And we're going to get it obviously spot on to suit you know my feet and my angle and stuff like that all right let's do it Well, that was very interesting, wasn't it? Wow. Uh, what we're gonna do now is, um, I'm gonna show you, because we did get this carbon bit back. This is the nose piece. So while sort of nothing's been sort of, you know, aired and shown, we've still had stuff behind the scenes being done. So Simon Motorcycle Panel and Paint has finished painting the front nose for us. So I'll 
bring up a bit of a closer sort of look We're like ooh. Uh, so it is a bit of carbon and we've had it painted in the red white placard the gold stripe to match the tail and then what we've done is as we discussed in i think a couple of episodes prior um, we left the carbon exposed or so people can see that it's carbon because there's nothing you know worse than sort of having a piece of carbon painting it all because people don't really know how cool you are um, in saying that hindsight i might be a little bit uncool now because this is all done in gloss with the gloss carbon but I forgot that we had this on order, which is the lower air dam slash tail, no, tail, um, headlight assembly bit that gets rid of the plastic bit, and this is in carbon, but this is matte carbon to match the front guard, the side radiator shrouds, blah, blah, blah. Um, and that's kind of going to go on top of it as such, but you're going to have gloss and then matte. In saying that, the bike's a bit of a bitzer because it's got the termi, which is gloss, and then it's got all the CNC stuff, which is matte. Uh, if I had my time again, I think I would have done everything gloss. And I know you're thinking, oh, gloss is old. It's making a comeback. A lot of manufacturers now are producing bikes in with gloss carbon. And I think it kind of looks cool. It gives it that wet, nice look. And uh, yeah, that's kind of what I wish I did. But hey, you know, hindsight's a wonderful thing. Anyway, we are just about to do the paint protection. This is going to get fitted tomorrow. Uh, what I'm thinking of also doing with the front nose section is getting a bit of black mesh behind these two holes just to make it a little bit more unique and sort of fill the holes up. And I reckon the mesh will kind of look really cool, I think. Anyway, we'll see. So we will catch you back next week. And by that stage, the bike will be done, glass coated, ready to rock on the street. Um, I should have the number plate picked up. I have it all sort of you know, insured for the road. And uh, yeah, we'll, um, we'll see how we go. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for um, your patience in sort of the time. Um, but we are getting into exciting bits of the bike being actually ridden. And then once it's done, say 500 Ks, we're gonna go uh, onto the dyno and start playing with the different up maps that we've got to see which one's the best for, uh, for this sort of setup. And also we're gonna see, you know, how good the uh, the termi system is and if it makes more power or if it's got less power than say an acro or sc or or what the goal is um one thing i do know and because it's been so long since startup i was like oh it's not really that loud we started up the other day it is mental i'm gonna have to use the baffles i think because it is absolutely crazy loud uh again we'll do another sound clip on it so you can hear it properly um but again I'll shut up. I'll let you guys go. Thank you so much. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe, like, share, all that type of stuff. Comment if you need something or if you want to bag me out or bag something else out. You know, it's all cool. Um, and we'll see you back very, very soon. All right. Thanks, everyone. See ya.